Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, September 19th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Centers Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. VPNs have been in the crosshairs of attackers for quite a while now. Lots of ransomware is getting deployed via weak VPN access passwords. And well, today I noticed in one of our larger honeypot installs that there is a group of IP addresses looking for four very specific IP addresses that are all VPN related. Now, two of them are fairly generic, so wasn't really able to pin down a particular uh, VPN, even though the fourth one here looks like it's probably some kind of Netscaler remote access product they're looking for here. There is uh, Global Protect, uh, the Palo Alto uh, VPN, that's sort of on the target list here, as well as Pulse Connect, uh, which of course is another uh, often targeted uh, VPN product. What this really means is that, well, uh, if you have a VPN exposed uh, to the world, it will get discovered. Uh, this particular scan was quite aggressive and probably made it through the internet uh, by now. All the scans for this particular group uh, did originate from a particular slash 24 that's geolocated in Russia. Wouldn't really make too much of the fact that it's uh, geolocated in Russia. This happens to be sort of an average uh, low-cost virtual uh, machine, virtual server uh, provider. Uh, they're often used for these kind of scans uh, for, in this case, uh, 5 uh, euro. I think uh, they're asking for a month. You do get a, sort of your basic virtual system that you can use for these scans. And then basically sort of treat them as throwaway systems if they ever get uh, shut down. We haven't really seen any scans from these IP addresses before about uh, sort of uh, yesterday. So what should you do? Well, uh, you can, of course, restrict which IP address can connect to your VPN. But quite often, the reason you have a VPN is that you do want road warriors, home workers with dynamic IP address and such to connect to an internal network. So limiting access to the VPN may not be a great option. If you can't do that, and well, even in addition, if you are limiting by IP address, you certainly must make sure that the VPN software is up to date and that you're using some kind of multi-factor authentication. A little bit adding to yesterday's discussion. Well, uh, yeah, try to make sure that it's somewhat phishing resistant, whatever multi-factor authentication you are using. Somewhat expected Apple today released major updates for iOS, iPadOS, watchOS, and tvOS. These are the annual major updates that Apple usually puts out in the fall. This brings us up to iOS 17. The problem is that, yes, there is likely some security content that's part of these updates, but as Apple's security page states, details will be available soon. The reason for this is that, well, a macOS is still missing from the list, and it's very typical that Mac OS, uh, the major update is then released sort of a week or so, sometimes even a month uh, later. And uh, a lot of the security content tends to overlap between these uh, operating systems. So Apple tends to hold back some of the details for the security content of these operating system releases until all of them are actually available. At this point, uh, we'll probably also then talk a little bit about what security uh, vulnerabilities were being addressed here. And Wolncheck published an exploit for a vulnerability in Juniper SRX firewalls and EX switches. This vulnerability, CVE 2023-36845, was patched in August, but apparently a lot of systems 
80%, according to Wolncheck, are still not patched, which may be related to the fact that Juniper rated this vulnerability as a medium. But the exploit now being released here via Wolncheck by Jacob Baines does show how a remote code execution is possible via this exploit without actually writing any files to the system. Interesting exploit in a very detailed walkthrough. It also includes a scanner how to find uh, firewalls that have not been patched yet. And given the availability of uh, details and exploit code now, I would expect exploitation to commence uh, shortly. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.